Hey YouTube, it's Justin answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. Today's question comes from MMSQ. Um, hello, at start, I would like to thank you for your guides. You're very welcome for the guides. Hopefully you've enjoyed them and I think you're referring to the guides on joincfe.com slash guides. Um, your question is, for what applications would you not recommend using Django? Like why would you not use Django? Well. There's a lot of reasons why you wouldn't end up using Django. You could use Python or some other sort of backend system if you're doing something very, very simple. Um, but if you are still starting out and you're wanting to learn something, um, even if you're wanting to learn something for a very simple use case, I think Django is still a very good choice. Such as if you were building, let's say like a microcontroller, you're using something like an Arduino and you wanted to store that data somewhere on the internet, right? You wanted to have some sort of backend service. Well, for that, you would probably end up using Django because then you could build it exactly the way you want it done. Now, if you don't need to build it the way you want it done, then maybe initially you won't use Django. In fact, maybe you won't even code at all. There are systems out there that you wouldn't need to code your own solution for. So most of the time that you do and you want to control everything about how your site works, that's when you're going to want to use Django. Even if you only want to control parts of how your site works, that's when you want to use Django. Um, so let's say for instance, you're building an e-commerce solution, right? Like you're actually building an e-commerce site because you want to sell some physical goods. Now the entrepreneur side of things, you want to get the goods and the product actually finished first and then build it and bring it out online. The actual way the software is built is not that important at first, right? You want to prove that the, the market actually wants your product. So when it comes to using something like e-commerce, getting a solution that's already out there and done um, will help you get that started, right? So that's an application as to when you wouldn't want to use Django. You'd want to get your product out there and actually have some traction with it. Now, the other side is true too, though. If you're building this e-commerce business, um, you could try something else first and then switch to Django later. So it basically, if the software is really impeding your ability to prove value to the world, um, then sometimes you might want to prove the value first and then come back and build some software later. Um, another thing is, uh, I don't actually know how good Django is for online games, so online gaming. So if you were building a platform, uh, something like, like Call of Duty on uh, Sony or Xbox, you probably wouldn't use a Django backend there. Um, that's actually something I'm not that familiar with as far as what they use on their backend to store all that data and also serve all that data to all these millions of people. That's something I'm really interested in. If one of you guys watching this knows that answer, please let us know in the comments. But hopefully that answers your questions um, for the application that use Django. Django itself, you can use for all sorts of things because you gotta remember that it is a backend service that can store your data. It works with the database to store your data. And if for whatever reason you don't need that full backend service, um, then you won't need to use Django. And Django should be powerful enough to power something like Call of Duty, but it might not be at this point. But that's something that I just don't know. I haven't, I don't have experience building that big of a network. That's something really interesting to me. Um, so hopefully that answered your question. Thanks so much for asking. Um, again, questions are at joincfe.com slash knocks. See you in the next one.